so quick tutorial here. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to apply false lashes. These are the um, Ardell, the flare short, and the flare mediums. I use a combination of the two to just kind of give a little bit more of a natural look. Um, if you want more length, definitely go for the flare mediums. Um, I find that the flare shorts tend to be about average length as far as um, lash lengths. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, so yeah, these are what I'm going to use. I'm also going to use the Duo Dark Eyelash Adhesive. Um, grab an eyeliner if you want to, if you're a little bit nervous about using the Duo Dark, you can always use um, the Duo or whatever lash adhesive you have that, that um, ends up drying clear. Just make sure that it, it dries clear and not to a white finish because you don't want to have white all up in there. Um, so yeah. Stay tuned if you want to see how I apply my lashes. Okay, so quick note, um, there's really no right or wrong way to apply false lashes. Whatever you are most comfortable doing, um, whatever makes it easiest for you, go for it. As far as tools go, um, you can use your hands to place lashes, you can use tweezers, you can use whatever will help you get used to placing the lashes. Now, with the individuals, they tend to be a little bit more time consuming depending on how many you're going to add. Um, in this case, I did six or seven. I did three of the flare mediums and then three, four, or five of the flare shorts. Um, and me personally, I cannot use my fingers to, to place the lashes because my hands start to shake. So I like to use the Revlon tweezers. These are bent. So it just makes going in at the angle really, really easy compared to a regular tweezer where you have to be like, in your line of vision. So, what else did I use? Um, just a standard pencil black liner. This is by Corez. This is just their soft eyeliner pencil in black. Um, I use this to line the upper waterline and if you want you can take a gel liner or a liquid liner or pencil even and go across the top just to blend in the line there. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. To do false lashes, there's a ton of different ways that you can go about doing or doing whatever to start. Um, you could curl your lashes, you could put mascara on ahead of time, you could, um, I don't even know. <laughs> um, you could line your eyes before or after. I tend to just do it right after. Um, I don't use a whole lot of liner, typically, so... So first thing I'm going to do is take my lash curler and curl my lashes. I find that when I do this, um, adding the individual lashes makes it a little bit easier to blend. Um, otherwise, if you try and curl your lashes once you've got the lashes on there, um, the false lashes end up being super duper curly and then the rest of the lashes don't really match up. Um, that's been in my experience anyway. So I'm going to curl my lashes. So for the flare mediums, I'm just going to use them on the corners of my eyes. I'm probably going to do use about three of them. Um, you can use as many as you want depending on how thick you want the lashes. If you want the lashes to look really thick along the base, um, you just place them, place them closer together. So um, I'm going to use a pair of tweezers just because my hands are too shaky. I can't like get in close to my eyes without my hands starting to shake. So, Okay, so the, for the very first step I'm taking my Duo Eyelash Adhesive. This is the Dark, uh, the Duo Dark. Um, and placing this on just a plain flat surface. Um, I don't really need a whole lot of room so I'm just going to use a bottle cap. I've sanitized this so, you know, don't have to worry about bacteria and disgustingness on so there. I'm going to take my handy dandy tweezers and just gen really gently lift up the lashes. Um, I can't see what I'm doing in the mirror so I have to look at what I'm actually doing. Just give it a couple extra seconds until you are fairly sure that the lash glue is starting to get tacky um, and then just sort of dip it in there. Just the little end dipped into the glue and then place. So I'm putting this one a 
on the outer. And then I use a combination of my fingers and my tweezers to adjust. going to do the same thing with the next one. I'm going to use three of the medium flares or the flare mediums and then I'm going to switch over to the small ones for the rest of my eyes. Okay, going to take the next set, dip it right back into this glue. And then place. Kind of, yeah. So I've got two medium flares on. Last of the medium flare, gently lift this up so I can get it by the base. For the shorts, same thing, just gently peel this off. I tend to try and go in by the base of the lashes. So I'm going to do the same thing with the short flares. Just dip it right into the glue. Should be pretty tacky since it's been sort of sitting out. And then just place this where you need it or want it. And then repeat. So pull this up gently in the adhesive and then on the eye. Okay, so now that all the lashes have been added, you can tell they're um, longer, a little bit thicker, although um, you'll be able to notice it more once I add some mascara, which is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to add the, or I'm going to put on the Clinique High Impact Mascara. Start with the bottom lashes. And then the top. Now to this eye I added a little bit of liner. I'm going to do the same for this eye here. So I'm just going to get as close to the lash line as possible and just wiggle this in. And then typically I would go like use a gel or liquid liner just to go along the lash line right there just to cover up any little um, spots I guess where you can see the glue. Um, I'm just going to take a matte black shadow tonight. So I'm using this color here. And pressing this into the lash line. There we go. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Um, if you guys have any questions for me, please let me know. Um, it's going to take practice, I will tell you that much. Just like anything that you try and master, it's going to take some practice. So if you have any questions for me, please leave them below, and I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching.